Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm taking you on a forest walk to photograph some mushrooms with my 100mm macro lens. I'll be guiding you through my thought process in terms of lighting and composition and also provide general information about mushrooms. Make sure you stick around until the end to see how I managed to take this shot with no natural light available after sunset. So without waiting any longer, let's go mushroom hunting. In recent years, mushrooms have gained attention due to their numerous health benefits, spiritual significance, and intriguing forms and shapes. Many of us can recall being captivated by mushrooms during our childhood, as they always seem to be coming from another planet. Inspired by these memories, I decided to take a step back from landscape photography and immerse myself in the world of mushroom once again and explore the fascinating composition they offer in the forest. Consciously searching for small plants and fungi, I was amazed by the magic that surrounds us. After just 15 minutes of wandering through the woods, I was already greeted by a vibrant array of colors. Amongst the vibrant display, I stumbled upon a seemingly simple mushroom with a gel-like substance covering the top of its cap. Although I couldn't identify this particular mushroom, I invite those knowledgeable about mushroom to share their insight in the description. Preparing my camera with my 100mm macro lens and clearing away some small branches surrounding the mushroom, I aimed to capture a compelling yet straightforward composition. The mushroom's cap reflected a significant amount of light, so I decided to use a polarizer filter to control the reflection. Lacking a small enough step-up ring for my macro lens, I improvised by placing the polarizer directly against the lens, which proved to be effective. To enhance both the ambient and artificial lighting, I experimented with aluminum foil, using it to bounce light onto the mushroom stem in order to fill the shadows. With everything in place, I was ready to capture the shot when suddenly a fly landed on top of the mushroom. Seizing the opportunity, I quickly focused on the fly and took several additional shots with different focus points to make sure I could later stack them and make the subject all in focus. Here's the image. For those who enjoy foraging mushroom for cooking, the excitement of finding these delicious and highly valued fungi is truly unmatched. However, it's important to note that this activity can sometimes be challenging and you need to be careful not to pick the wrong ones. Now moving on to my next shot, I came across a small patch of chanterelle mushrooms, which happened to be my favorite for cooking. Since insects had already started feasting on them, I decided to leave the mushroom alone and continue my exploration. I then stumbled upon a bright yellow-orange mushroom with small bright yellow patches. Intrigued, I made this mushroom my next photographic subject. As you may be aware, where there's an abundance of mushroom, there tends to be a significant presence of mosquitoes. Following a similar process as before, I aim for simple and straightforward composition. Employing the polarizer filter once again, I reduced reflections and intensified the colors. I also used small LED lights to highlight the side of the mushroom and used foil to bounce the light and soften the shadows. Satisfied with the lighting, I felt compelled to add an additional element to the scene. Considering the common sight of slug on mushroom, I ventured into the forest, find one and place it on top of the mushroom. Capturing shots of the moving slug, I eventually settled on an interesting image. Here's the shot. As the day grew late, I wanted to capture a few more shots before concluding my photography session. At this point, I had been lying on the ground for quite some time, so I took a 30 minute walk to move my legs, appreciating the presence of wild raspberries that are abundant here in Eastern Canada during July. As I walked, I was thinking about how to ask people to subscribe to my channel without being too direct. 
Although my next subject lacked photogenic qualities in terms of positioning and elements within the scene, I decided to set aside my perfectionism and give it a try. The mushroom's interaction with the tree root intrigued me, but the image lacked depth. I framed the shot with my 28-70mm f2 lens, which is the sharpest lens that I own. Sticking with the theme of the day, I once again experimented with foil and LED lights to manipulate the lighting. Taking multiple shots with different focus points, I ensured that I have enough flexibility in post-processing to achieve sharpness throughout the mushroom while also exploring various lighting angles. The time I took looking at this mushroom was a lot more satisfying than the result. But who cares? Here's the image. As the darkness covered the surrounding, I noticed a couple of mushrooms resembling white flowers that I wished to photograph. After a brief 5 minute walk, I discovered a multitude of these mushrooms along the roadside. Selecting a small patch, I carefully composed the shot and arranged the lighting setup around them. Experimenting with various compositions, I initially considered including a fern in the background but ultimately opted to spread small pieces of foil throughout the scene, creating out-of-focus highlights. At this point, it was pitch black and I began hearing strange noise around me. However, my focus remained locked on capturing the perfect shot. This experience served as a personal reminder of how photography has the power to remove clutter from our life and help us relax in the moment. Once again, I captured 5 shots with different focus points to later stack them in post-processing, ensuring all the beautiful mushrooms were in sharp focus. Among all the images I showed you today, this one is my favorite. At this point, looking for other subjects in total darkness was out of the equation. So I packed everything and call it a day. Now thank you for watching and see you in the next adventure.